Good morning, my passport friends. I hope that you're having a celebratory Palm Sunday. I just wanted to come to you today and read a little bit about the scripture that brings us into Palm Sunday and subsequently the rest of Holy Week. This is a really important week in the life of our church. We start with Palm Sunday and we end with Easter, two very, very exciting events. But what comes in the middle is, is sad. And so I would invite you to go to our church where you can look at our choir door windows and see a little bit of the story and how it plays out. So there are pieces of scripture as well as visuals to help you see how the week of Jesus's life, the last week of Jesus's life, what it really looks like. So I'm going to today focus a little bit on Palm Sunday. And Palm Sunday is really exciting. If we were together, we would be waving palm branches and saying, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Well, let's go to our scripture and see exactly what is going on. So it says, I'm reading to you today from Luke 19. And it says, as he came to the town of Bethpage, and Bethany on the Mount of Olives, he sent two disciples ahead. Go into that village over there, he told them. As you enter it, you will see a young donkey tied there that no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks why you are untying that colt, just say, the Lord needs it. So they went and they found the colt just as Jesus had said. And sure enough, as they were untying it, the owners asked him, why are you untying that colt? And the disciples simply replied, the Lord needs it. So they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their garments over it for him to ride on. As he rode along, the crowd spread out their garments on the road ahead of him. When he reached the place where the road started down the Mount of Olives, all of his followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for the wonderful miracles that they had seen. They said, blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in highest heaven. So that's our scripture that we're, we're talking about today. We're talking about Palm Sunday. And if you guys got one of these little boxes from um, our, our Lent kit, you right now, so we will have taken it out and we have, little, we have Jesus. We have lots of things. So the part that we're at right now is just the beginning. So we are, we have Jesus right here and we have our palm branch. And so today, as we celebrate this triumphal entry into Jerusalem, we can use our little props that, that we got. And if you did not get one of these boxes and would like one, just go ahead and let me know and I'll drop one off at your house. So that's, the, that's where we are today. And as our week progresses, we are going to see things change a whole bunch. Right? We're going to walk through the story of the last week of Jesus' life. So also in this box, we have, we have this little picture. And this little picture reminds us of Monday, Thursday in the Last Supper, which is something that I'm sure is familiar to you. So this is when he, the Last Supper that he ate with his disciples. And that would be on Thursday. And then we know what happens on Good Friday, right? So we have our little box and we have Jesus and we have a crown of thorns because on Friday is when Jesus was crucified. So here's the, here's this little crown of thorns and that's what happened on Friday. But then we have to remember that there's excitement on the other end of this story, right? So if this is the tomb, and this was the cross that, that where Jesus was with his crown of thorns, we have to remember that on, on Easter Sunday, this is what we're going to find, right? It's going to be empty. 
And that's another reason to celebrate because Jesus will has will have risen. And that's what Easter is all about, is celebrating that Jesus has risen and he is with us every single day. So that is such good news, friends, and it's so exciting. So I really hope that you enjoy, first of all, your your Holy Week. And like I said, there's a really fun um, experience for you to have at church if you wish. If you're out for a walk with your family or a bike ride, just zoom on by and check it out. And also, I would like to, if you would like one of these boxes, I would like you to call me. And then the other thing that we're doing this week is a scavenger hunt. So if you would like to be part of my scavenger hunt, I would love to send you the clues that you can be a part of this fun event. Friends, before we go today, can you grab a little piece of heaven and bring it close to your heart? And let's pray. God, thank you so much for sending your son. It is such a gift for all of us. And as we celebrate this Palm Sunday and then take time to reflect on the last week of Jesus's life, please be with us. Please be with us and and help us to understand and help us to feel what Jesus maybe was feeling. God, just help us feel the pain so that we can have that feel the immense celebration that will happen on Easter morning. We ask that this week that you be with us, that you help us through our week off of school, and that you fill our hearts with love and joy. In your name we pray. Amen. Friends, have a super week, and I will see you really soon.